Welcome to Lesson 1, an Introduction to Reverse Engineering with Ghidra. In this lesson, we are going to just create a new Ghidra project and import a file. So let's go ahead and begin. You need to pull up a web browser and go to classes.paladingrp.com files re underscore intro dot zip. Now go ahead and save that to where you want. In my case, I'm going to save it to my iDrive, users, Brian B. And then I'm going to create a directory called re intro. Now, let's go ahead and, and uh, that's a zip file, so let's go ahead and unzip it. So I'm going to go to my directory that I copied into. And I'm just going to go ahead and do extract to re intro. And then you can go ahead and delete the zip file. Now, if you go into re intro, you'll see there's a file called example one. Now, you actually may see multiple, you most likely will see many mil files as I add files to this. But this is the file that we'll use in this first project. So let's go ahead and start Ghidra. Type Ghidra run. And we have the tip of the day here. Go ahead and close that. And here is our active projects window. We have no active projects. So the first thing we have to do is create a new project. So we go File, New Project. And it will ask us, do we want a non-shared project or a shared project? Now, if you're used to programs like Ida Pro, all you ever have is a non-shared project. That is, you're working on it on this computer alone. But Ghidra actually supports sharing a project, so multiple people on different computers can actually all work on the same project, and that's really awesome. In this case, we're just going to choose a non-shared project. So click Next. Choose the directory that you want the project in, and we already have that created here. Let's go ahead and though, just double check. Yep, our intro. Select the project directory, and the project name is going to be Let's do it lesson one. Hit and we want to hit finish. Now, let's click on lesson one, and we now need to import some files. We can import w one file, we can import multiple files, but all the pro files are going to be associated with this lesson. So to import a file, you can choose file, import file, or you can just type I and then it will bring up your, your select files to import. So again, we'll go to My Computer, iDrive, Users, Brian B, re intro, and in this case, we're going to open up example one. And it will show you, you have a L file, language is x86, little endian, le, 32 bits, and it was compiled with GCC. Destination folder is that, program name, is example one and there's some options. If we click on the options, there's some options for importing this file. By default, I think pre-selected options are fine. One thing you might want to do is load external libraries if you have other libraries that you want to bring along in with this file. And you can click that and then add the path to where it could find those libraries. We're not going to do that right now. The other thing you might want to do is re-image your base. By default, Ghidra is going to read where the base of the image is loaded from the actually in this case the L file and that's normally fine but if for some reason you wanted to change that to a different address let's say you're using a Linux system normally that you're analyzing and it's using ALSR and it's it's doing ALSR on the binary itself or PIE for changing the base address of the binary then you could alter that base image again if you're looking at something maybe in a debugger and in the reverse engineering tool here but by default this is fine so we're going to just click on OK OK now it's going to show us some information about the project and the files click OK and now you see the file shows up here and now what we want to do is double click on this file and because we have not analyzed it yet it's going to bring it up and ask us so this example one has not been analyzed. Would you like to analyze it now? So it's going to actually go through its disassembly process and try to make sense of this project. So let's click yes. And again, there's options here. The default options are fine for now. And it's already done because it was a very small binary. But this is what happens now. 
we've imported, we created a project and imported a file, and we see by default we have some windows open here. We have the program tree, the data type manager, and the listings example. The listings example is where your disassembly is. And that's all we're going to do in this, ep this lesson. But in the next lesson, we're going to talk about the other windows you can open. And there's a lot of other windows you can open. Some are very useful right away. Some won't be useful for, for quite some time. But things like checksums, the hex editor, or the hex viewer, and one of my favorites, the decompiler window. But that's all for this lesson. So join us next lesson when we will actually go through and look at some of these windows that we can open and, and dock into our Ghidra environment here. So join us for our next lesson. Does your organization need instructor-led training in advanced technical topics? Paladin Group can provide that. Check out our webpage.